Okay, I'm going to give you guys a tour of the uh, bus here. I just got all the curtains made and hung up, and I want to know what you think. I still have to finish making my duvet cover, but we got the floor done. It's a hickory floor. I got the curtains hung. I got the blinds fixed. I got the uh, shades on the wall sconces made. I just got to glue them on a little better than that and straighten them up. I even put little tassels on them. Isn't that beautiful? Got the cabinets all refinished, the knobs all painted. This was a TV. John made a door for it and put a knob on it. I got some pictures hung up here. And then some more curtains. And then I made my chicken pillow. And some uh, lady gave me my I love you with all my heart pillow. She thought that it went really well in here. And I got the carpets all clean. And all the cabinets refurbished and all cleaned out and it's ready to put away for the winter. Air conditioner over the bed, which just feels really good right now. All new pillows and linens. I just got them all put on the bed. And then I got the pillows here made. When I made the sofa, the original sofa cover, I made these, so they're brand new. Got the armoire refurbished. And all the drawers and all the door hardware painted as well. Isn't this beautiful? You can't get anything this custom, even hardly in a brand new one. Alright, this is the bedroom area. Um, I refurbished the entire armoire. It's got mirrors on the outside. It does have a light on the inside. And then all the drawers. I still have to fix this one drawer here. It's not hitting the little latch. And then I'm done. I'm 100% done. Now under this bed is a latch and this whole thing just pulls right up and under the bed is storage. This whole thing underneath here is storage from here down. So a great place to store like extra outdoor tables, uh, suitcases, um, surfboards. I mean you could store just about anything underneath the bed here. Bathroom. The um, I have to forgive the way I have look kind of hide out of here today um, the bathroom door has a mirror on it and it latches shut and it gives you an ensuite see here the bed comes in here or you can close the door and then you can go on out into the rest of the coach Just hung a hook here for a bathrobe and this is a bevel cut mirror by the way uh, it's got the new bar light Plenty of lighting. Um, I added that right there for a little bit of collar to kind of bring in the collars in the uh, in the bedroom. It does have um, Corian countertops. Refurbished all of this. I still have to paint the hardware yet, but my husband said he liked it the antique gold color. But I'm still going to paint it because I think the black looks better. But anyway, and then I got all new towels, pictures. Um, toothbrush holders and everything's down with velcro <laughs> so um, I need a counter space toilet paper towels toilet paper holders actually in here this is a ceramic tile floor and this is a really cushy bath mat that I put down it is a real porcelain toilet and then it's also a bidet and you can also use that to flush down. Plenty of towel holders here. So uh, the only thing I didn't get done, and I would like to have gotten done, but this one works just fine, is I would like to have gotten a new faucet put in, and I would like to have gotten that thing right there taken off because I got that there instead. So and then coming into the shower, I got this tile, and then we got to do shower head put on. And it's a very sizable shower, so it's got a place there. So yeah, it's a very sizable shower. Take you into the rest of the coach. And then here we have the smoke glass mirrored refrigerator. See that? You can see it's smoke glass. 
I hung a beautiful antique picture here. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. You have a freezer. And you can see here that I put in the arm and hammer things and it's all controlled up here. And then you also have a light here in the hall as well. And then I got all these brand new. I just bought these and put them in there for condiments and a couple of more of these. They just hang on things and they're easy. I think a dollar each or something like that. 97 cents each. And then all the baskets and everything will be included. It's a really nice refrigerator. We took all this out. All this underneath here has all been refurbished. Everything underneath here. Everything, this entire coach has been completely gutted and everything refurbished right down to the subfloor. Refinished, refurbished everything. Everything came out and everything went back in again. Um, as you can see here, um, when I took this apart, uh, we're cabinet makers, so I was able to fix everything in here, run some new stripping in here, and uh, some new contact paper, and uh, we trimmed, we made some extra shelves here, and we have some nice rollouts now. So these, for sure, short, these are easier to get to, and everything in here is brand new, brand spanking new. Everything is new. It's completely furbished with room to grow. And uh, more drawer space down here. This opens up. This is storage here, and this is storage here. The uh, they also have seat belts, and I just finished making the curtains in here today as well. There's storage over the top. Um, more storage, more baskets, first aid kit. We got a light up here at the top. See, dinette light turns off and on. They're just a 12 volt light. Plenty of air conditioners. We have two main air conditioners here. We have one over the bed and one over the family room here behind me. The table drops up and down. This sleeps one large person or two or three small children. Uh, the kitchen is Corian countertops. And that right there is just a... Um, that's just a, uh, a Clorox wipe that I sit over the thing. It just helps keep odors from coming up through. Uh, through. But you can see this is a molded one piece top. And I just uh, had my husband install this for me. I kind of helped. But it is a pull out sprayer faucet. And it's a beautiful piece. And instead of carting soap around everywhere, there's a big jug of soap hooked actually to this and you just pump it. And this is just a beautiful piece. I mean, it's just beautiful very happy with this and then of course this has the blinds and you can open and shut the blinds here as well under lighting more cabinet space all the baskets everything you could possibly need is already in this motor home folks we have a convection microwave okay folks this looks like it has never been used I don't think they ever did use it See, we got a hood light here. All right, stove is like brand new. And you can see the stove here is like brand spanking new. I don't think they ever used this either. All brand new pots and pans and mitts. I just bought them all. Just put on hooks here. And you can see the pans have never been used. It's all brand new cookware. Just bought it beautiful beautiful and we even have our roasting stick so if you get a fire going plenty of room for more stuff completely refurbished and completely furnished uh, this has a pull out rack and then it's got all your spices sorry I should have shut that curtain I mean the sun's coming in just right here today uh, we've got measuring cups measuring spoons uh, can openers uh, brand new salt and peppers uh, baking powder, uh, we've got wraps, foil and plastic wraps, can openers. Folks, you're ready to go on this one. You are ready to go. I've, I, there's not a, there's nothing I didn't think of. Uh, brand new package of scrubbies, a dish strainer mat. Again, this uh, hickory floor is throughout the entire coach. I even came up with the pop-up trash can. And I even have over the, uh, the door holder. It's got all the cleaners, all the strainers, anything you could possibly need or want right down to the hand 
washing machine the, the the turner the tank turner honey this has brand new silverware it's gonna be completely everything completely redone i even added the salt and pepper shakers everything in here folks is brand new i took it in the house washed it brought it in here i even got you a little grocery list pad of paper here no stone unturned i mean completely organized and ready to go another little set of pads some cleaners there scrubbies there and some more brand new dish towels and dishcloths like I said everything's been refurbished and redone I'm sorry about the Sun all right chair brand new chair completely redone by us uh, we slides forward back spins turns and uh, this has to be in the side locking position when you actually ride in it and you can see it even has the seat belts okay this has the seat belts as well uh, but I didn't run them through the sofa because I really didn't feel that that was necessary just finished making the curtains we have plenty of storage overhead we have a crock there for uh, your utensils and all your utensils we have a brand new toaster um, a milkshake maker or a coffee grinder, a brand new hot water kettle for hot water for tea, boils water in under a minute. Right here is a brand new box full of, ready for this, wine glasses. All you need is the wine. Over here we have games, we have mosquito repellent, Kleenex, and even CDs. Overhead compartments are empty, brand new speakers, brand new DVD player, and also a brand new TV. Folks, this has a brand new CB with dual speaker system. It has a reverse camera, a backup camera. It has a, a charger. This thing, look at these flex still seats, folks. Look at these flex still seats. Look at this. Folks, it doesn't get any better than this right here. I'm telling you. Uh, overhead lighting, and again, I'm sorry about the sun coming in. I've been working on this all day. This is such a wonderful ride. The chairs swivel so they can turn around and meet up with the chairs here. And uh, the carpet's been completely refurbished. This is a piggyback axle uh, or a dual axle coach. So it the tandems ride separately from the back coach to the front. So the way that I designed the floor I, I designed it so it has that little bit of movement and uh, isn't that beautiful all custom wood folks all custom wood all brand new subfloor brand new hickory floor this is just a beautiful beautiful coach and we have some more storage here we have more speakers more overhead storage on this side more brand new curtains I just finished making those last week um, plenty of lighting well, I guess this one right here has to be turned on at the switch. Hang on. There we go. Now we can turn it on. There we go. <laughs> and again, right here, we have another air conditioner here. This one's not on. We have the antenna for the television. And uh, so dual air conditioners and again, one over the bed. But I hope you've enjoyed the tour so far. This is just a beautiful, beautiful coach. And I wish, like I said, I wish this, we were parked a different direction because, man, that sun is really coming in. But it's kind of keeping you from really being able to see the beauty of these cabinets after we refurbished them. We have solid rock maple cabinets throughout. All custom cabinetry. Beautiful pieces. Look at this. Beautiful, solid maple, hard rock maple cabinets with a honey finish, which goes all the way around the entire coach all the way around look at this the white leather flex still seats up front are like new condition excellent condition folks there isn't a piece of this that I have not I'm going to change this artwork though that artwork might go in the back I gotta find a piece of artwork that I like like this that goes with this side of the coach I just like that picture there's actually a mirror behind here and this right here has all of your amp service box and then you have another air conditioner controller here 
and then you have heat in this by the way heat in the floor and there's your control temperature for it and you can see that we have the heat vents here and all the heat vent covers are new as well but get a little of that sexy floor I mean folks you just don't get this in a coach under 200 300 thousand and um, this is a 1996 Endeavor. It's 36.5 feet long. And uh, just a beautiful, beautiful coach. Everything brand new. And this is just the inside. I'll show you the top. The leather top up here is insulated. And it is like brand new. I've scrubbed it from top to bottom. And there's not a thing wrong with it. I just enjoy sitting here and just John driving and me just heading down the heading down the road but um john's going to give us a tour of the outside you ready bubba i mean who wouldn't want to own this for the price i mean you could pay upwards to a hundred thousand dollars for this coach here you can see this is called the endeavor and it's the endeavor le oh and it's got the automatic steps and that's got a brand new motor on those automatic steps so we just replaced the motor that was an almost a thousand dollar fix so you can be assured that that's still under warranty it's got about 11 months left on the warranty of the of the steps. Now in here, now in here we have some storage, plenty of storage. Look, here, our flags go back that deep. Do you see that? And we have a country fish cleaning station table here that's got a sink on it. You just hook to any park sink. We're gonna let that go with the motorhome as well. Storage for your suitcases, whatever. And John, you want to talk about the converter? Uh, that's a new converter. It automatically uh, has three modes. One uh, is the quick charge, and the other is a uh, normal charge, and another is a charge for storage when you put your vehicle in storage. Okay, I hope you got that. My husband's an electrician, and he's the one that uh, wired all this up, and he put all this in plastic boxes for the safety of it. And then what is this meter down here reading for, John? That actually shows you which mode you're in. So right now it's in the normal mode. But when you're going to park this in the winter storage and you're plugged in... If you have a plug-in, that would be uh, lower than that. You'd be lower than that and just keep your uh, batteries. And by the way, this has brand new batteries that were charging on the other side. So we'll get to that. So, so how much do you think this all costs, John, to have it installed and everything? I think maybe a thousand to twelve hundred dollars. We are charging the batteries with these uh, in this port. There's another place that you can put another uh, battery where you can charge another set of batteries if you want to off of this unit. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a dual charging unit. Yeah, and you can see whenever it flickers that it's on. It's it's doing its interesting. Thing. By the way, these are all on, um, if he lets go of them, they stay up by themselves. They're all on um, hydraulic lifts here. That uh, is the tank for your uh, gas that runs your stove and it can also run your refrigerator and other uh, units. Okay, so this is your uh, propane. Uh -huh. And then you can see you have your propane meter and all that. And by the way, this was just inspected as well. The whole motorhome was just inspected air conditioners and everything we could fix you know why we were putting money into it we wanted to fix anything I mean what good is remodeling it if it doesn't go right so <laughs> but you can see we've scraped all this down and we've repainted the tank this was all rusty and everything and we got it all completely repainted it looks really really good we even repainted the mufflers coming out so the muffler got painted as you can see here all the way around it just looks nice when you're when you got it open and you got all that painted up nice. Tires are brand new on this. And you've got back-to-back, uh, -back, I call them back-to-back -back jack. <laughs> but they're uh, dual tandem uh, tires uh, kit here. And all the tires were replaced at the same time. So there's no, there's no rotating them. They were all new and replaced. You've got a good, uh, a good five to six years left on them. Here's another basement cubby and this right here you return the empty water bottles here remember the water bottle thing we showed you in the in the house the water crock well this just turns upside down and goes in this and you just exchange this over at Walmart for a new one and you've got fresh water and it's enough fresh water to brush your teeth to have coffee in that boiling water pot anything you need without having to filter your water so if you're in an area where you can't get hooks up or clean water hookups and and remember we also have a filter on this thing we're going to show that to you here in just a minute 
uh, we got stuff to uh, whatever we need to wash, whatever we need to do, from the pet to whatever. We've got Silla Flat. We've got mini fire sticks here, so you can have a little campfire. Um, the sprayer is for what, John? Well, you okay. can use it to spray around uh, the motor home for insects, uh, pests, or other different things. Uh, we used it for bleach and bleaching out. You yeah, we bleached. Sure yeah, we bleached the entire motor home when we gutted it. We bleached it just to make sure if there ever was any mold or anything like that. We got all of it, so we went ahead while everything was out of it and. We bleached the undercarriage, we bleached everything. Now this is my outdoor washing machine and it's a barrel and you put your clothes in it, put the lid on it with a little bit of soap and water and then you give it a spin a few times and you take it out and you hand wash your clothes. And with a clothesline across the back, they make clotheslines that tilt out on the back of your, that attach to your ladder. You can get one on eBay. And, um, and I picked this up pretty, at a pretty good price, I picked it up about $49. But it's a great unit because you are saving energy and you are washing your clothes. So you can wash your clothes no matter where you go. The kids fall into a mud hole, they don't have any clothes left, you've been out for a week and you need some clothes, just, I mean, it'll hold uh, probably two pairs of jeans and, uh, and maybe two t-shirts to give you an idea of the size. But I mean, that's enough to get two people a set of clothes, you know, and rotate your clothes when you're out and about. And I think that's really important. So this is storage. You got extra windshield wiper fluid and extra bleach because you always need bleach to bleach your, uh, bleach your water lines and stuff. And then here's another storage compartment here. And See, brand new tires. It does have the reverse camera. I forgot to mention that inside, but you do have the reverse camera. And then, of course, your ladder that takes you up. All right. Here's another view of the camper. So so bright out here. I'm not sure if I'm showing you very good out here. All right. Now, what's in here, John? Electrical. Electrical. And then the hoses over here for the, for the freshwater hoses, right? Yes, uh -huh. Okay. And then he's got a set of brand new knee pads in here. So if you don't want to crawl around on grounds like this when you're emptying and dumping, you've got some knee pads and some gloves and things. That's all been bleached and cleaned out and everything brand new the hoses everything's brand new now this is the interesting and my favorite compartment <laughs> Woohoo! see the doors stay up by themselves now John come on down here and explain this to us um, this is the wastewater the sewage uh, this is fresh water and um, this is the one that you use to flush when you actually um, the gray water the gray water tank yeah, when you start flushing the tank, you use this. Okay. The, um, the filter is hooked to uh, the city water connector here. And tell them about the, what kind of filter this is. Uh, this is a whole house filter. Uh, it functions to uh, filter all the water in uh, the motor home. And um, you can drink right out of the spigot if you want to, if you're on city water, and this will give you a nice fresh water uh, here. Uh, if you're in the dark, you can turn on your light. And um, this is the wrench for it. It's a dog washing station. A little uh, place. You hook it on, and then you can wash your dog. Okay, cool. So that's why it's got the V spigot right here. And then the other spigot would be for fresh water, for whatever, washing them, whatever. Oh, you, emptying or... These are fresh water uh, ports. It goes through the filter uh, here. The, um, this little port is where the hose would come up to hook in here. Okay. So uh, So to hook to wherever you park. To hook to wherever you park. This is a regulator for the uh, PSI in reference to the water. The water at different areas has different water pressure. So you need to make sure that uh, it's not too high so it doesn't burst uh, your plumbing. So this, this little thing here, and you can get that at Menards, uh, this hooks in, your hose hooks into here. But it controls, it controls the uh, PSI of the water. So okay, and in this driver's side of the vehicle, in the basement compartment, we have lots of storage. i got to come back in here to show you this. This goes all the way under the bus. And here we have a brand new, never used glass wicker table, glass top wicker table. And we have some beautiful fold-out chairs with awnings on top.
really nice chairs that go with the actual table. So I mean, this you have plenty of room. And then here is the battery box. You pull this pin here. Oops, get the pin out. And this just rolls right out. And you can see we've completely painted this. We've put some extra that diamond rubber diamond plate down here. Um, and we have two brand new, if I can get it out here, we have two brand new batteries that my husband has installed here. And this means there's room for two more batteries, which means you can do solar or you can do some sort of a windmill. So you can get creative. But the batteries are about uh, three weeks old. And with the new uh, Intel uh, power source, they are keeping themselves charged. And we can run off battery power if we have to for a short time. Yes. That's all the wiring. That's all the wiring to it. Then over here we have an Onan Marquee 7000 generator. And you can see here, I gotta get my sticker back on there, that we just had it serviced. And it's got 500 hours on it. And you want to service this every 500 hours. So it's in excellent running condition. But we had the oil changed in it. We ran it. And you want to run this once a month for about an hour once a month. That section there. Folks, this is a beautiful, beautiful, well-maintained coach. Okay, here's just another view of just how beautiful that this coach is. How well-maintained. Everything's been clean. Um, this right here gives you the directions. There's like a key in here. There's fuses in here. And this gives you directions on how to level. There's lights and the lights will uh, level up. And then right here is where you put your levels up and down for leveling it really easy access to that so it does have a level leveling kit and I promised to show you the CB up closer there's a Cobra and it's, we even put the extra speakers on it and then right here we have your audio box backup camera here up here I don't know what I was going to show you but there's the dash and it does have 55,000 miles very very well cared for a vehicle I mean you can see we've really really cared for this brown awning comes out that matches this it's striped to match this and it's brand new it was actually put on in Colorado all right folks there you have it the 1996 holiday endeavor that's been completely remodeled very low miles and I want to mention that it's got a brand new engine in it it's got about 11,000 miles on this new engine um, the last owner did replace the engine in it because he lived in the mountains or was going to move to the mountains or something and he wanted it to have a new engine. But he apparently ended up buying a different motor home. Folks, this is such a beautiful coach. I mean, get a load of all this handwork. I owned a cabinet shop and I'm telling you, um, I really put myself out on this one. The hickory is just gorgeous. And this is diamond plating in case you spill something. Sometimes we'll, when we get groceries, we'll actually put groceries down here. And that way if it spills, it'll come right outside the door. And I won't have to clean up everything in here. Um, we did the extra weatherproofing here. Um, it's got the screen door that slides. The matting, the chairs, the chair that swivels. This chair moves back and forth and it swivels to the front, swivels to the side. See it? Just pulled these up completely custom made these. Matter of fact, you can go on YouTube and you can watch us actually make these and how we made the sofa. And my favorite thing is how comfortable the chairs are. Even my husband, who is 90% disabled from the military. He's been in every war since Vietnam. And he's um, he's been to three tours in Iraq and he really finds these flex -still seats comfortable. They just have that extra, you know, they just have that extra pumpiness to them. They're just so soft and plush have enjoyed this tour right down to the leather insulated ceiling plenty of venting plenty of lights two air conditioners one of them right over your bed who can ask for more